Hello all, g'day Malcolm. Today I'm going to be working on my coon. Uh, today we're going to do engine oil and also filter, diff oil. Alright, so first thing, you want to take this filler thingy off. This is so um, when you undo the drain thingy on the sump, instead of it going glug glug glug, it will just like come out a bit easier and flow and try to get all of it out. Uh, also we have taken it around the block so it's not warm but it's not exactly hot either so it can just fly out a bit better. Right there, oh, some oil come out, this thing into here, then we uh, dispose of it, aka put it in Harper's U. You're gonna want a 15 spinny thingy and then you start going for it. So you want to get your spinny thingy, make sure it's actually going the right way. That was not tight. That feels nice. It's lined up. Oh, yeah, pretty good. Put the bung back in hand tight. Now we're going to tighten it up. You don't want to do it too tight. If uh, you just jump under it and a couple days of you driving it and if there's oil seeping down then you know you need to do it a bit tighter. This is the tool we've got. Instead of smashing your hand we just use this thingy. Clip it on here. And then spin it around. It's actually quite tight this one because in the Arteza it was not this tight. This one it's quite tight. <laughs> Let's let some of the oil drain out. Oh, it takes a bit, eh? See the rubber seal? If you don't put oil on that, it likes to bind up, so just get a little bit of waste oil. Not too much. Put a little bit around like that. The rubber has to seal against that circle thingy. Wind it on the thread. There we go. I lined it up, guys. And now when you do these up, you don't want to use a tool like I just did to get it off because you're going to crush it inside, so you just do it up with your hand. I just put a full 5 litre pack in, so now we've got about, I think, 700ml or something, just over. Now we're going to put that in, because it's showing on the low mark right now, we'll put this in, hopefully it'll be on the high mark. Oh, this is actually a source container too. So now I'll just check the oil level. Yeah, it's all good, eh? Alright, mm, sweet. Next object. Now this is a rear differential. We're going to be doing the fluid on it. Should be rather interesting. This is a muffler. So here you have your drain plug. Before you touch this, so that there's your fuller. You want to make sure you can undo that first before you take the oil out. Because if you can get it out, but you can't get to that, well, you've just created a very bad problem. Make sure that can come out first before you touch that. So, just taking the filler out. That's the uh, dog tag, filler tag thingy, whatever you want to call it. You can't really see much, but it pretty much says it's LSD, so it's good for skids. Oh. Uh, look at that. <laughs> Little dingly dangly little thingy. So he's just mentally drained. Here we have it all on the bottom. So this is how we're going to get it in. We have a big long tube thingy. End of the tube gets put up into here. About that far in. And then the bottle kind of gets flipped upside down. And this is where you're not trying to get all that stuff over you. So I actually haven't spilt it over me. That's a first. You have to kind of do this kind of slowly though. The tube can sometimes occasionally fly off. Oh, that's dense. Diff, fluid and stuff, all good. Tied in filler, tied in the um, drain, it's all good. Hopefully you people enjoyed this video. You know the deal. If you want any Aragon Industries merchandise, there's a link in the description to the Instagram face pagey thingy and um I think that's about all sayonara wow LSD differential Ford Falcon automobile